Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Hey, welcome back to Walk Talks. We're glad that you are joining us once again today. I hope your day has been fantastic. Um, to date, for me, it's been pretty good. It's a little bit rainy outside where I am right now, but uh, I'm glad that you are joining us. Hope that today's uh, lesson is a blessing to you. So let's jump right in. So we've talked about what does it mean to trust the Lord. We talked about what does it mean to fear the Lord. And today we're going to try to talk a little bit about what does it mean to cast your cares on the Lord. Okay. Each of us in our own life, we like to hang on to things, whether it be troubles, whether it be uh, bitterness, whether it be, you know, just something difficult that has happened to us. We like to hang on to it. We tell ourselves we don't want to. We tell ourselves that we we want to forgive. We tell ourselves that we don't want to um, hang on to this bitterness or um, this anxiety that we're feeling, but oftentimes our actions prove to be different because we uh, we use it a little bit as a crutch sometimes that I'm, you know, I may be struggling, I may be worried about this, and 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 I use that as an excuse to not do some things that I may. Maybe I should do, but let's let's talk about how we can cast our cares on the Lord. You know, Philippians chapter four. Last semester or last year, we kind of talked through Philippians four verse eight. But the preliminary to these verses is Philippians four four through seven. Here it says, "Rejoice in the Lord always." And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So what is, rejoice, all right? So rejoice is is joy. Um, what he's saying here is um, when he says, again, I say rejoice, what Paul is saying here, in a sense, is, look, I'm going to keep telling you, rejoice. Rejoice. Why? You have so much to rejoice about. Oh, as a Christian, we have our sins forgiven. Our our eternal home is in heaven, and we have uh, ultimately nothing to fear. As a Christian, the worst that can happen to us is death, but even that is absent with the body is present with the Lord. So he says, rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. The people in, uh, that Paul is writing to were facing some some serious persecution. Um, Paul himself had come to Philippi, uh, he and Silas, <clears throat> and they were thrown in jail for casting out a demon out of a woman. And they were beaten and left in prison. But Paul and Silas sang and gave uh, praise the Lord throughout the night. God shook the prison, loosed their chains. The Philippian jailer thought that he was, uh, that the prisoners had escaped, so he was going to kill himself. But Paul and Silas says, look, don't hurt yourself. We're here. And the Philippian jailer came in and says, sirs, what must I do to be saved? He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And Paul was able to lead that man to Christ and his family, and consequently this church and uh, Philippi started, and they were continued to experience persecution. But Paul says, look, rejoice. You have a lot to rejoice about. So when we understand um, what we have, it makes casting our care on the Lord a little bit easier, but we we can rejoice because of what we do have. So it, then he says, 
Let your moderation be known unto all men. Now, what does that word moderation mean? The word literally means like a sweet reasonableness. Okay. So look, in those testing and hard times, you need to let your moderation, your sweet reasonableness be known to those around you, especially those who may be even persecuting you, those who may be have done something wrong or maybe making life difficult for you. As a Christian, we have a lot to rejoice over. As a Christian, we can let our sweet reasonableness be known to others. Why? The Lord's near. Okay? And understanding that makes us uh, demonstrate uh, our sweet reasonableness. We we have this. Okay? So, then he says, be careful for nothing. So, with this last few minutes here, be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious for nothing. This is... Um, clearly a, a, a negative kind of uh, carefulness, if you would say. Um, this is anxiety. This is worry. And this is not just being um, concerned, okay? You're, you know, you may be concerned for a family member that's um, having some health issues. You may be concerned for a child or a sibling or something like that. That's not what this is talking about this is that care that concern that's gone beyond just mere concern and how we can know that it's gone from a legit concern to a worry or anxiety is when it steals our joy and our peace if something is stealing your joy and your peace it's no longer a normal care it's an anxiety and so we need to stop. No. But it says everything by prayer. So that means we go directly to God. We go vertical. In other words, when we have problems, we have cares. Even the cares that are not yet worries, we take them right to the Lord. Because we know that's what that means. Then it says in supplication. This word supplication has to do with helplessness. We come to God with an attitude of, I can't do it, you can't. And then it says, with thanksgiving. That's that you can part. Like, I've come to God realizing that I can't do anything, but understanding that he can. Therefore, I come to him with this attitude of, Lord, you can do this. Thank you. I know you can. Let your request be made known unto God. In other words, it's the concept of itemizing your, 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 your needs, your concerns, your cares. So we go to him. Don't be careful for nothing. I'm sorry, be careful for nothing. Excuse me. Go to God first in humility and helplessness with supplication, right? With thanksgiving. God is the one who can do everything and we praise him and thank him for it. Okay. Then I let him know my request and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts. So when that happens, when we truly give that to the Lord, the peace of God comes in and it passes all understanding. Like this is something that even in troublesome times, we can live a life that is not filled with worry and anxiety because we know that God's got it. And that will protect us from that anxiety returning and returning again. So we, this is, this is not something that we do once and never have to do it again. It's a moment by moment day by day we take it to the lord give it to god and then shall keep your hearts your emotions and minds your thoughts through christ jesus therefore right after that that's what he says finally brethren whatsoever things are true honest just pure lovely good report okay think on these things and when we have the peace of god because we've given God our cares and our worries and our anxieties and just even our legitimate cares, that peace of God allows us to think on these things and those things protect us from those concerns and cares going into worry. So folks today, cast your care upon him. Give it to God. Take it to him. Let him have it. Think on the things that are you're supposed to, and God will indeed give you that peace that you need. So, hope you have one of the most incredible and fantastic days 
Until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.